<laughs> I won! <laughs> what? So Danielle just won something from the last tournament. I double part that whole thing. <laughs> Good morning fans, so today we're going golfing for the first time here in Iliilo. I haven't played golf in like a few years. Let's What's go. up MTV Cribs? <laughs> Did you bring balls? I should still I hope they have, they're good at uh, finding balls. <laughs> These balls. Look at that dude. <laughs> So we're on our way to Santa Barbara Iloilo Golf Course, the only golf course here in Iloilo. The next closest one is in Boracay. Um, we don't have a tea time, so we're gonna see if we can get one. 8 a.m. on a Monday. Yeah, on a Monday, 8 a.m. because we have Kupa with us, uh, our friend from Korea. Um, he's a pro golfer over there. He's a certified USGA teacher too. So golf instructor. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully we can get a tee time. Uh, although Santa Barbara is a um, private club, it used to be where you had to ha know somebody from the inside to get you in there. Uh, but apparently last time we checked they said uh, we could just book a tea time, but uh, we have to do it in advance. This is not in advance, so we'll see how it goes. This is what you're facing with in the first tea. God. So the first hole was fine. By the way, we are if we were able to get a tea time. You need a caddy here because you don't know where the tea box are. There's not really a map. There's so, no map. So <laughs> there, yeah, there's no map. Even online, there's no map. Um, so yeah. There's chickens. The first hole right there was a doozy with the water and all that. And then yeah, you got chickens and somebody's house. So here we go, second hole. <laughs> In the shape. So there's like little toy tongue with golf balls, water, boiled eggs.
Nice shot. Good shot. So we are at the night hole. Well, actually, we passed the night hole. We're going into the tent. And actually, it's the same as the first tee. And then it goes a different way. Like to the left or something like that towards the entrance. So, yeah, you need caddy here because it's a confusing course. Uh, getting a cart. Right? You're getting a cart for the next? Yes. Okay. You really have to have a caddy. Yeah. It's so confusing. So, like it says, the course has been here since 19, 1907. So, Americans built this course. It's a cool course. The greens are well maintained. The, the fairway is a little bit brown. Um, obviously, because it's El Nino and it's a drought. But, um, yeah. The layout's just a little confusing. And there's no maps around uh, or anything published for it. Because I can't find anywhere. Unless you go to like the tea box and I see like there's a... Um, what do you call this? Uh, like a little layout of the court of the hole on the tea box. So the green fee for the both of us, uh, me and Danielle, is forty two hundred. That's just the green fee, and then. The caddy is about, well, the caddy is like 500 pesos and the cart's 900. So, that caddy is hiding his little cart up there. It's the tree. So, that caddy just hid his. I guess if the the golfer or the player is um, walking, so either they carry the bag or they could um, have their own cart. And uh, because I think he's a little older, so he puts a cart. He has a cart with him. So this course is really confusing. Um, you really need a caddy over here. The first tee and the tenth tee is the same and then it splits up. So basically one section goes to the first nine and then this, the second nine um, goes a different way. Um, and the tee box so far, uh, based on our experience, is a little confusing. There are, um, what do you call this? There are um, tee boxes that are on the same, yeah, same tee boxes, just different markers. And the, their uh, their hole or their layout cross each other, so yeah, it's it's a little confusing. That's why you need a caddy over here. Um, I was wondering why there's no map of the course or anything like that uh, at the tee box. Some of the tee box actually has a layout of the course, I mean of the hole, and um, gives you a little idea. Um, they. They are fencing around uh, the borders of the course, but they're kind enough to like leave a hole um, on those areas that has like a little store. It's so hot right now. I'm tired. <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot right now. right folks that's where we buy our stuff in <laughs> that hole in the wall like literally a hole in the wall like with rebars and then there's a like house over there with the uh, with the changi <laughs> with the store <laughs> so Koopa just hit a ball we saw it coming back after hitting the tree but it disappeared in one of those cracks because it was too 
dry El Nino drought. So it's one of those crevices somewhere. So you see how confusing this if you don't have a caddy? Same two, two tea boxes over there, side by side. And then you're looking at this. One hole goes this way and the other hole goes the other way. This is ours. This is basically the front line right here. And then when you're the back line, you go hit this way. So your marker is basically the, what do you call it, the coconut tree. Luckily, I was playing from the white, so you could see this coconut tree. If you're playing from the blue, you won't. So you're playing blind. You have to like really shoot it to the left. Of course, it's really dry, but the uh, greens are perfect. So look how brown it is. My caddy bong, he's the best. He knows what iron I need to hit. I didn't even know I could hit that iron at this that distance. So, and then when it comes to ball finding, he's a hawk. Maybe I should just call him hawk because I didn't even see where my ball goes. And uh, he would find it. I'm not kidding. Like how many people place Kirkland balls around here? Nobody. <laughs> My caddy right there. He's the best. From That's last tournament. tournament. Oh. From last tournament. <laughs> when she joined the tournament, she Ooh. won something, but oh we left gosh, early, left so. Early, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take a picture. Oh, I know. Take a picture. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> So Danielle just won something from the last tournament. I double part that whole thing. I think so bad. <laughs> inside? Okay, inside because there's no sign. Go there by the trophy case. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, take a picture now. We're gonna flip it. You need the golf club right now. Okay. One, two. Next to the thing over here. Should do it in front of the flag. <laughs> 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 flag? Yeah, there are American flags right there. Okay. Ready, one, two. <laughs> What's up, fam? I want something! <laughs> okay. I would like to thank my family. My parents were always driving me. My uncles were going on the course, um, golf course with me. Um, Tito Lee. Look what I won! <laughs> I also like to thank my coaches, all the golf courses I played at, Franklin, Hilton, Blue Rock, and the one in Alameda, a bunch of courses that I played at, and I'd especially like to thank my teammates and my little brother who I played his first tournament with. Yee! So yes, thank you all our subscribers too. 
for all the support, everyone in my life who supported me, Jared for being there spiritually. And yeah, thank you guys. I won my first trophy. Yay! <laughs> Good morning fam. It's the next day after we played golf. Um, yeah, we were just so tired. We went to the Tubigan and uh, did some stuff. All in all, uh, golf was fun. You really need a caddy uh, because it's confusing. The course is confusing. Um, like I said, there's no map on it. The green fees is 2100. Um, the caddy is 500, and then don't forget to tip your caddy. And then if you want to get a cart, it's 900. But if you want to do that like, cart, just nine hole, like towards the end, then it's like 450, I think. I didn't even know you could do that. So. Anyways, thank you for subscribing guys. Until next time, we'll see you guys in the next.